Hi everyone, this is Sandy Crane at the Heart, and today I am making flowers. So this is week four of the Halloween collaboration, and this week we've been tasked to make two projects. So my projects are kind of connected, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I am making these flowers. Now this was not my idea, this is from Polly's Papers, and I will link to the tutorial. She had a, um, a five day tutorial on making different flowers. These are the ones that I just, I loved them. So I'm making Halloween flowers using a poinsettia strip die. <clears throat> I'm sure you can do this with any die, but this is the one that I'm using. This I got from Maker's Movement, which is what um, Cherry Lynn Design is now called. And this is the strip. It makes two large, two medium, and two small flowers. And then I'm also using a matching leaf die. So it's like two larger flowers and then four smaller flowers. So that's what I'm using. And then I needed probably like a half inch circle um, punch, which I didn't have. So I used a circle die from my Nest Abilities, which I now cannot find. It is like lost. So I'm hoping it turns up. In the meantime, I have the circles, so I'm good to go. I also um, am using um, glue. So this is my favorite glue. I'm using this Art Glitter Glue. But you can use whatever glue you like. And I'm using the Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit, which you don't necessarily need a whole kit. <clears throat> what you could use is a piece of foam. Um, a stylus, and then whatever tool you want to use to shape your um, your flower. And it's a very simple um, shaping technique. It's not fancy at all. I just need to get this sucker in here somehow. Um, so I decided to make flowers, and I'm going to be giving them to a partner. There we go. Set that aside. <coughs> So what I am using are the two large and two medium flowers. Actually, I don't know what happened to my other medium, so I guess I'll be using three large. It'll be fine. So um, there are two sides to your flower. There's one that has um, the little grooves on it and then your back side. So you're going to flip it over to your back side. And then all you're going to do is um, just kind of do a circular motion so that the leaf starts popping up. And I have the um, autofocus off because it was going in and out. It was just having a hard time actually just staying on focus. So basically all you do is turn your flower around and you'll get this kind of cupping effect. And you're going to do that for all of your flowers and I'm using three large because apparently that's what I have so no worries I would normally the other ones I've mostly used um, two large and two medium but it'll be fine this is my demo flower just to kind of show you how I do it and then of course you can watch um, Polly's papers where she is way more elegant at making the flowers um, than I am. Okay, and so you're gonna just kind of press down in the middle to kind of flatten your flower. And then all you're gonna do is layer your flower. And you don't need a ton of glue for this. So like a little dab of glue and then you want to go ahead and you want to lay your flowers so that um, the petals are are spread around okay so then we do the next one a little more glue I think and then you're just going to kind of create this kind of um, layered effect really really simple 
So it looks really good actually with the, with a larger flower. I mean, it's it's fine. <clears throat> so you kind of give it a second. And so you have some options for your centers. So top of the centers while it's um, drying a little bit. So um, stamens. So these are larger stamens. I just got lucky when I ordered these from Amazon and they came in this really nice larger stamen. And then um, the other ones I bought are these teeny tiny little stamens, which I do not like as much, but I have a ton of them. So I'm going to have to like use them. Um, but the, the larger stamens, I think look a lot nicer than these, than these ones. These are kind of a different effect. The other thing that you can do is you can use, um, prills. There they are right here. This is what they look like. And I am using for the orange ones, I'm using this, a penny saved. And for the black ones, I don't know where it is. Maybe I put it away. I am using um, Power Outage is the one that I'm using for that, for the black one, which is right here. Okay. So to do the prills, okay, to do the prills, <clears throat> you must have something sort of like this, a tray, because they will go all over the place and then just they're so tiny and so round they'll go all over the place and then it's got the little hole at the end that you could dump it back into your jar. I highly recommend something like that. So I was searching for my tray like everywhere and it was actually right next to me but while I was doing that I actually discovered a bunch of Halloween stuff that I had gotten in a swap last year, Halloween paper. So it was actually kind of exciting. I am using my large crocodile, the big chomp or whatever, and I'm going to punch a hole in it. Actually, I forgot a step. I'm going to put... <clears throat> going to put a circle in the bottom and then I'm going to punch it again that way if you want to do prills you could do the prills um, you don't punch a hole if you're doing the prills but I'm going to be showing you the stamen one because that's the one that I like the best now I'll just punch another hole so it gets through that and that just really gives your flower um, stability and because when you stick those stamens through. So I uh, just am using the stamens that I have lying around. Um, in her video, she uses five. I have um, four here, so that should be good enough to show you guys because these are larger stamens. Um, with these, I would punch a much smaller hole than when I punched. Um, I use a smaller hole punch that I have because you gotta be careful about the stamens falling through. They're okay, just don't like them as well as I like these larger ones. Okay, so once you've got them kind of stacked, you've got them like stacked, then you're gonna fold them in half, kind of pinch them because they're gonna fit through this hole. So they fit through this hole and you kind of carefully kind of press them down the way you want them. So then you've got this bunch of strings. So what you do is you just cut through them and it creates these long strings. So you kind of hold them over to one side and then you gl put glue down So you really need a good glue. And then you press this down. Then you see you've got those excess strings. You're just gonna go over to your trash can, which is right next to me, and you're gonna cut, trim those strings. Now I will link to the video that I followed for this and then um, you can go to her channel and see all her other wonderful videos.
Okay, and then kind of spread them about and then boom, you've, you've done it. So once you've created it, sorry, I gotta close this doesn't dry out. Um, then you can stickle it. So I used the black diamond stickles and you don't have to do it, you know, every leaf or whatever. But I just went around the edge and just, just stickled it. And I used um, an orange stickle for the orange flower. And, and I'm going to show you how I package these up. And then I'll show you my second project. Okay. Um, so you just kind of go around. You just stickle, stickle, stickle. Okay. So see, then you've got this all stickled and you set it aside and let it dry. For the leaf, all you do once you cut the leaf is just, um, you know, this is optional, of course, is I just stickled around the leaf. Okay, and then let that dry. And then once it's dry, it's ready for a project. And then you have all of these beautiful flowers to play with. I, it took me two days to make all these flowers, I'll be honest. Well, two evenings. I was working on them all the time. So, you know, I just spent the time making all these flowers. And I love how they came out. So, once you have your flowers, then we want to package them up. So I'm using some um, Halloween paper that I found in my stash. I pulled out all my Halloween stuff. I don't have tons of Halloween stuff, but I did pull out so far what I could find. This is Chillingsworth Manor, the six by six. And so I just cut a sheet of paper down. This is four and a half by five and three quarters. And then all I do is I use these foam squares, okay? So I'm gonna take my flower and I just put um, a foam square at the bottom, put that down, and then I'm gonna do um, black one. And so these will be ready to give. Go there because I'm going to do. I'm going to probably need to make some more leaves. I'm running out of leaves. So, do some leaves. One leaf and I think it's a longer leaf. So, um, I'm going to have to make more leaves, it looks like. And there. And let's see, I'm going to do a small one. Be prepared for um, you to have pearls everywhere. It's kind of like glitter. And they're just really hard to round up. So there's that orange one. And... We'll do a black one. And that. Oops. We'll do that one and I'm almost done. And then I'll show you how it all looks. My other projects will be quick to show you. Okay, and voila. Okay, so there we go. Once you've got them, then I have this fabulous box, which I've shown you before. I got these from Clear Bags. I don't know how long ago, probably very long, because they've been hidden in my daughter underneath her bed forever. Okay, so there you got your, your box. 
And then what I did was, here's the completed one. So I found this black satin ribbon um, in my stash with all my Halloween stuff. These are tags that, they're DIY tags, chalkboard tags that I had gotten um, from Tuesday morning. And I'm just using one of these pre-made tags. And then I am using some washi that I actually had in my stash that I pulled out and found and I got last year. And then I cut a piece of paper out of this one from last year. It's Halloween ref, um, Recollections, which I like so much better than this year's Halloween paper. I think this year's Halloween paper is kind of creepy. Not a fan of it. So I really like this one. So I just did that and then I just tied it on there and then I've, it's all done. Isn't that cute? So then my other two projects, I made um, cards. So let me pull out the cards because I wanted to use my, um, so I, I wanted to use my flowers. So I've got this card right here, which is using the La La Land um, Witch. And this is the cat from, um, the Prima doll because I just had it lying around and these are all little bits and pieces and so here are my flowers and then here is the other card that I made this is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card and this card um, is just using the paper from the recollections uh, dead and breakfast set and I just did some layering of papers and I had some seam binding that I had actually dyed myself a while ago I don't know how long ago maybe a couple of years and it was at the bottom of all my Halloween stuff and then I just used my handmade flowers in each corner and made this card so these cards and um, my pack of flowers will go to my Halloween collab partner so thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you visit all the other channels. This is Cindy, the Crane with the Heart.